In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Cobbleverse server for free. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up any web browser like you normally would. Then all you wanna do is you wanna to go to the search bar and type in the Essential Mod. The Essential Mod is a free Minecraft mod that will allow you to host your very own modded servers. So please go ahead and select on the official essential.gg website just like so. Then all you wanna do from here is you wanna press on this blue button that says download. Now, even though the Essential Mod is a great option, unfortunately, it does have its limitations. For starters, this is not a 24 seven server. It is only gonna work when you're online playing Minecraft. Also, it can be very laggy and glitchy. And with the Essential Mod, you should only play with people that you trust because people who join your server on the Essential Mod are able to see your personal information such as your location. And obviously, that can be a little bit of a risk if you're playing with people online. But if you guys want a simple plug and play solution that doesn't have any of those problems, then consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24 seven, a limited slot, completely safe server for you and your friends to play on. And what's great about a simple game hosting server is that you're easily able to upload mods, mod packs, and plugins with a click of a single button. In fact, you can create your very own Cobbleverse server on simple game hosting without any restrictions. There's also dozens of video tutorials and 24 seven live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. And at the moment, they're currently doing a deal where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So guys, if you ever thought about about making a Minecraft server, now is the perfect time to do so. Check out the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment if that is something you're interested in. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to drag and drop the essential installer.exe file to your desktop just like so. And the next thing we need to do is we actually need to make sure that we do have the Cobbleverse mod installed. So what I recommend that you guys do is open up another tab and then look up CurseForge app download. And basically, we're going to be downloading the Cobbleverse mod on this app right over here. And it is just going to make the process significantly easier because it has seamless integration with the essential mod. So please go ahead and select on download standalone just like so. Then go ahead and and open up the Curse Forge installer. So just open it up just like so. Then you're gonna get a pop-up that says, welcome to Curse Forge. And all you wanna do is you wanna press on next. Then you wanna press on I accept. Then you wanna press on next. And now it is going to begin installing Curse Forge. So some of you guys may have already downloaded Curse Forge. And if that's the case, then all you need to do is just open up Curse Forge. But this is for people who don't already have Curse Forge installed. And Curse Forge is basically a platform where you're able to download mods with the click of a single button. And it's incredibly easy to use. And that's what we're gonna be using in order to make this server. So anyways, once you have that, go ahead and press on finish. Then it is gonna open up CurseForge. By the way, if it's your first time ever using CurseForge, the first thing it's gonna do, it is going to ask you to pick a game. So make sure you do select on Minecraft right over here. And as you're able to tell, I already do have a bunch of mods and mod packs installed. But what you wanna do is you wanna go to the search bar and you wanna go ahead and look up Cobbleverse, just like so. And you should be able to find it relatively easily. Yep, here it is, Cobbleverse. Then this orange button is gonna say install. So make sure you go ahead and download the Cobbleverse mod right over here. I already installed it, so that's why it says play. But if you haven't already installed it, then it's gonna say install. So please make sure to go ahead and install it. And it really shouldn't take that long. And it doesn't actually take that much time. But also what you wanna do is you wanna adjust some of the curse words settings. So what you want to do is you want to go to the left menu and scroll down until you see settings. Once you're over here, make sure that CurseForge is selected. Now, where it says when I close CurseForge, please make sure that exit CurseForge is selected. That is incredibly important. All right, then you can go ahead and exit out of it and just please make sure that your Cobbleverse mod is installed. All right, so once your Cobbleverse mod is installed, then you can go ahead and close out of CurseForge. And now you want to go ahead and actually open up the essential installer, just like so. And then you're gonna get a pop-up that looks like this. And all you wanna do is you wanna press on get started. Then where it says select your launcher, please go ahead and select on CurseForge. Then in this list, you should be able to see Cobbleverse. And yep, here is Cobbleverse. And all you wanna do is you wanna select on it. Then you wanna leave things the way it is. So by default, it is going to select Fabric as the mod loader and version 1.21.1 as the version. So leave that the way it is. And all you wanna do is you wanna press on update and install essential just like so. And now it is going to add the essential mod to the Cobbleverse mod. So just wait for it to do it. And then once it says installed, you can go ahead and close out of the essential installer. Then you can go ahead and open up CurseForge one more time. Then make sure to select on Minecraft, then locate the Cobbleverse mod right over here. And all you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and press on play. And by the way, if it's your first time ever using CurseForge, then it may ask you to sign into your Microsoft account before you're able to play. So please be prepared to do that. But anyways, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that Java Edition is selected. Then make sure that Cobbleverse is selected right over here then go ahead and press on play and wait for Minecraft to load in. 
All right, guys, when you load into Cobblemon, you're going to notice that we're going to get a brand new menu over here. And this is what we're going to be using in order to host our server. Now, here's the thing. You and all of your friends need to have the Cobbleverse mod pack installed and the Essential mod. So please make sure to send this video to your friends so that they know exactly what to do and they know exactly how to set things up. But anyways, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that says social. Then you want to go ahead and select on this add a friend button right over here. And you want to type in your friend's username because you will need to add your friend on the essential mod first before you're able to go ahead and invite them. So please make sure to type in their username, then go ahead and press on add. And all they need to do is accept your friend request. And once you guys are friends, then you guys can host your server. So in order to host your server, all you want to do is you want to press on this host button right over here and you can create a brand new world or load into a pre-existing Cobbleverse world that you do have. And then you want to press on next. Then you want to press on proceed. Then you guys can configure the world settings over here. You guys could select on the game mode, the difficulty, etc. And all you want to do is you want to press on next. Then you guys can go ahead and invite your friends right over here. Then you can go ahead and press on host world just like so. All right, guys, so here we are in the Cobbleverse. And if you want to invite your friends again, then you just want to go ahead and press on invite. And then you're able to go ahead and invite them just like so. And all they need to do is accept your invite. And then you guys should be able to go ahead and play together. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you later, French fries.